ഉറക്കം ഉണ്ടല്ലേ ಈಗ ಮಾತಾಡ್ರಿ ಕೇಳಿಸುತ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ Am I audible? You are... Come... and towards the development and advancement of uh, their research and graduate programs he has been on serving on different positions like academic program chair associate dean of research post graduate research director and director of the center for enterprise collaborative in innovative systems he has supervised over 30 post graduate and doctoral students uh, he has published uh, more than and cybernetics he has been a member of governor in the ieee systems mayor He is up for the IEEE 2021 and 2022 Asia Pacific Region direct elect. Uh, he, uh, some of the awards in his uh, uh, credit are honorary PhD degree in information technology from Thailand. Uh, he has been awarded as IEEE Region 10 Outstanding Volunteer Award. In 2009, Perth Convention Bureau Professional Development Award. Uh, 
in 2007 vc award in excellence in research supervision and in 2000 ieee third millennium medal award he has uh, received uh, several grants and uh, from arc for different projects as listed here uh, he has been a well known person for uh, 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 delivering the keynote talks and uh, conducting workshops and seminars so this list is very long so i will not uh, go into the list there are several activities whether it is uh, related to ieee or other uh, eminent uh, professional bodies so he has been active, very active in delivering the talks so without wasting much time i request uh, professor fang to start his session okay good morning all and greetings from perth western australia It is truly my honor and my pleasure um, being here together with um, all of you, and I see over 221 participants. And I understand you also have it um, streaming on um, YouTube. Yes. So right now, I'm going to start off by sharing uh, my screen. And um, are you able to see my screen right now? Uh, you're able yes. To see my Yes, you can. Okay. If that is the case, I'm going to take away my camera so that you can concentrate looking at the screen. Okay. So once again, I thank you very much, Ralph, for this uh, invitation, and uh, it's truly an honor and a pleasure. And um, the topic title is on research papers and proposals writings for academic career. I have been sharing um, a similar topic for a couple of times now. Um, earlier on, you mentioned about my engagement and speaking. Um, uh, opportunities in the past. Well, well, looking back, really, well, this COVID nineteen things. Well, give me even much more opportunity to share. Well, with a different part of the world, uh, in particular India. And lately, I have um, delivered over a dozen or so a webinar, and also some more coming as well. So this particular topic is very well. It's very popular. There are a lot of um, requests on this one. So what I try to do is I try to modify it along the way as I well hear well, some of the questions and, and, and then I try to um, um, modify it and improve it. So if you have seen some of these um, uh, materials before, if you have listened to my talk before, then I apologize for that. But nevertheless, well, I, I hope that you can take away some um, new ideas and some of the things, the, the key points well, from writing papers and writing proposals. So I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the invitation by uh, from uh, Dr. Rajesh uh, Kula, and uh, well, we met on the Facebook, and then he, he wrote to me, and then one thing lead to another. I'm able to speak uh, to you today, and I also thank you, uh, Director of the SRLT and Group of Coordinators Academics, um, Dr. Manish uh, Manoria. Although I have. Um, especially when you go for grant applications, what are they looking for right now? So I, I'm targeting well different segment within the. Uh, research proposal looking for admissions and scholarship purpose in particular I mentioned a little bit about scholarship and I believe well I was a student once so it's important that they're able to get some scholarship to support your, your further study and then from well when you after you have started your your PhD study then well and the uh, writing of the candidature document well in our university we call this process Is published, and even university, they're also moving from the traditional thesis. They they go into what they call the thesis by publication, so thereby you have a, a high number of appearing nowadays, and also uh, students uh, feel a lot of pressure that they, whereby they must well publish. Then, of course, from the academic point of view, well, again, uh, is uh, more or less the expected outcomes and some kind of measure performance well, from the. 
uh, from the management as part of the uh, academic roles. So the agenda is I quickly go through some introduction. You have heard well uh, during the very kind introduction of me already, so I'm not going to talk too much about that one. But I I'm quite lucky to have five years, although I'm still quite active for the past few years, to carry on with my research and uh, some publication by the students. But uh, I would say that things have changed so much. In, in particular, it's a very competitive world now. And I would strongly encourage that you really need to start planning at the beginning. And I take a look at the proposals and then look at the submission of the research papers. So in other words, it's not so much on writing it, um, concentrate a bit more on the submission aspect. Then I'll share some of the Australian experience. Uh, what are we looking at right now, in particular in my discipline of computer science and IT. And uh, I'll finish off by looking at the IEEE point of view, well, the conference quality. But the reason I'm saying this is because I have been involved uh, with the conference quality committee uh, for a few years, and even right now I'm still involved. And well, when you submit a paper, so this is one of the things that you really need to pay attention to. And similarly, if you run a conference, well, you need to ensure the quality of your papers so that well, your uh, submission to the index, to the explore will not be jeopardized. So most of the information you have seen earlier on are available well, well, from the university website. You just simply search Murdoch University profile, Lance Fung. And you will see uh, most of the different heading. Well, some of those I haven't updated yet because, well, on the event and speaking engagement, well, really I have a dozen uh, I could have added up uh, since last month. I'm located in Perth, Western Australia, and I can see that uh, your university is somewhere in the middle of the northern part of uh, India. As you can see, well, Perth well, is on the western edge, and we are sharing the uh, Indian oceans. And then you can see Perth is more than well, one third of the area within the whole continent of Australia. Uh, can someone mute your mic, please? I can hear some background from some of the mics there. Okay. Well, so we, I would say that we are the closest one to India. And like, oh, we just we get one of the trans, um, either. Well, we have limited, limited direct flight well, to India, but we have a lot of going through the hub like in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, etc. Murdoch of universities is one of the four public universities in Perth, where we're Western Australia. Murdoch of University is the second well, oldest. Well, I'm not. I'm going to skip most of these personal background. The whereby you have already heard. The satellite to reach every part of the world. In terms of my well, publication. And you can take the search repository. Take a look at some of the work I've done in more in detail. Well, I would uh, suggest to take a look at the list of the PhD thesis I have supervised. And I must say that most of the papers are related to the work well for all my excellent students from different parts of the world. As you have heard, that uh, I have a strong affiliation with uh, Thailand, so that's why I have uh, received a one on uh, honorary or degree from Kolalak <coughs> University. So I also have quite a diverse interest well, different areas. So I leave it to you to take a look well, for yourself. I have students, well, from Thailand, from Indonesia, um, from Singapore, from Malaysia, from China, from Middle East. The index and also the research gate and um, Yeah. So, 
go to the main part of our talk. Question. Important training as being a PhD. The main difference compared to the undergraduate, even master by coursework, that you, you follow some kind of curriculum which is predefined by the lecturer or predefined by, by the uh, university, well, approved by the When you do a research, no. as an independent researcher, well, once you get a degree, so you need to demonstrate that well, you're able to conduct well, the research by Hello. yourself. Hello. Okay, and um, you also need to gain experience in the process. Well, the simple one would be just simply going to the conference and go to journals, and you can even go further. Well, get a book, or even you become an editor of the book as well. And then, uh, from the academic performance view, having some kind of publication in important parameters, well, to demonstrate that your your results are being accepted by the peer well, within your discipline. And uh, well, if you expect a much more long going uh, career, then you need to establish a potential. Hey, but not get away. But it also means two things. We talk about the intact thing. Well, you can be you know, caught up uh, in years to come as well. So it is very important. We need to uphold the standard and the quality uh, of our work. So that's why the, the Conference quality committee comes in, and uh, you will see later on. This is 